Well, I think that one of the most important things you can do in your course when you're applying the UDL principles is it can seem overwhelming to all of a sudden have to apply UDL. So one thing that you can do is look at what you're already doing. The UNSW UDL framework has a checklist at the back and lets you see some of the things you can do. So if you tick off the things you're already doing, then you can plan to maybe add one or two things every time you teach your course. This way you're not trying to revamp everything. I know it's difficult for people, there isn't a lot of time in between terms to completely redo. This gives you a chance to do it little by little. And I noticed that students were more engaged. Um, I've gotten statements um, on my, my experience forms from students that say, we really like the idea that we have choices. So typically what I do on my Moodle page is I have one or two activities that are mandatory that everyone has to do, such as attend the lecture synchronously or asynchronously. And then I will give them maybe 10 activities and ask them to choose three or four. The key to this though is everything has to be linked to your learning outcomes. So students need to know ahead of time what it is they're supposed to learn that week and then they can choose how they meet those learning outcomes.